transport you to and from. <coughs> they have to have adequate insurance, be properly trained, a tourist guide, and they wait for you and they bring you back. So if you stay four hours, five hours, 10 minutes, they are there. Well, the other system is the local transportation, which you go from point to point and it's eight of you pack up in a car. <laughs> big difference, big, big difference. And I'm not sure that the driver, the driver certainly is not tourist trained, the driver is not trained and not all the time the drivers are um, fully licensed. Not, mean, not to mention so insurance. Not, yeah, I was just going to say that they might not even have insurance. Right. And you could you could take on the job. Yeah. So you're saying it's best if somebody is traveling here to take a taxi from a resort. From a resort. Because that is safe and secure. You know it's insured and a licensed driver. A licensed driver and he knows, his, yeah. he knows where he's going. Yeah, the, in, uh, I think it's New York, they used to have a lot of taxi drivers who were just, I think they call them gypsies or whatever. Yeah, Anybody in there. Just, and in yeah. London, they have them yeah. too. Oh, yeah. And you have to be very careful. You might end up in the wrong part of town. Oh, really? Where all the local taxis park up. It's like... Um, taxi station. Yeah, taxi station. See one batch on the road to go up to Brownstown. This batch would be the road to go to Discovery Bay in our direction. Some of this here would go to Ocherius, Runaway Bay, that direction, and this is a quiet Sunday afternoon. And those would be not licensed, just... Some of them are licensed, some are not licensed. If you want to make a little bit of money, you just, on Sunday afternoon, you drive out here, you pick up a couple of people, yeah. collect the fare, and take off. They wouldn't be charging the same amount. Oh, no, it's a substantially yeah. difference, very low. But they, they pack about six of you, six or eight of you in the car. You sit on one another if you don't have to sit on the lap. Yeah. Of course, nobody puts on a seat belt. Oh, sure. Right? And you go at about zipping miles an hour. Oh, I nearly died. <laughs> You're mad killer. to go with that boy. Killer. There was a we correction. Now, that's not, that's not a bad development here. No, this is an yeah. old development. Yeah. This is great, an old one. This is the and it's around the golf course. Yeah. This is when you have the cash. You buy these houses. They flip these down here. They flood out. Oh. Yeah. This is Hot Academy. This is where they train all the um, students to be hotel workers, and then have a little hotel part of it. it this hotel the part of it is fairly decent. So you want to become a hotel waiter or what have you? You work in a you go pretend here. hotel. Yeah. They go there and they come back out and they know everything and I look at them and say, yeah, we don't know. Pango Pogo, these are all nice villas on the golf yeah. course. Wow, look at this. With his big smile? Yeah. You know him near it yet. Silver Creek Resort? Yeah, it's a little villa and it's grown up with various rooms attached over the years. Nice little place. Um, I'm resistant to your uh, right. A house. It's huge. Somebody's building a house. 